Hey guys, just a quick little announcement here. Uh, throughout the video, I did keep calling him a deluxe class, but he is a Voyager class. I kept calling him a deluxe because I didn't have the box to read off of and I completely forgot. So he is a Voyager class, not a deluxe. So he is $29.99. Okay, his retail price $29.99. Just put this out there. That is all. Hope you all enjoy the video. Leave, leave a thumbs up. Thanks. Hey, what's going on everybody? I am SGT American and this is my Kingdom War for Cybertron Deluxe Class Optimus Primal. So here we are and here is Primal. Now, I first I would take a quick look at the box, but I threw his box away. Simple as that. I just <laughs> I, I didn't collect start collecting boxes until maybe halfway through, so a lot of my toys aren't going to have their boxes. So anyways, let's take a quick look here at the details and need this thing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a transformer look this like real monkey. <laughs> dude, look at this head skull, dude. This guy is like really smir smirking you down. Not even smirking. He's a uh, what? What is that term? Uh, he's giving you that mad face. He's like, I wish you would try it. That that's what that looks as. Just try it. I dare you. That's what that look says to me. <laughs> and it's a very, very good look. I love that look. You can see his uh see his monkey eyes in there. And they are in uh dark brown, and you can see the pupil in there. Just very, very small. You got his big nostrils, his entire face done in gray, texture of the fur. Say texture of the furs again joints monkey hands which are also his robot hands so you know the hands you can also see the fingernails which are just done in the same color you can see the molded in detail right there uh he does come with a like butterfly joint i'd say so you can pop these down actually so we'll see that for articulation Hold up the back does kind of have some robot stuff just kind of sticking out the red and the white his robo feet but not too bad it is kind of hard to transform a robot into an animal so i'll give it to them on that here's the bottom got his big old beefy chest uh you do have <laughs> just like a big gap right here but that's just because you can put his head down if you want to so oh no not that bad I think it's uh, his monkey toes. I don't know how well I can show you guys this. Uh, no, I can't show you guys. <laughs> his monkey toes. Uh, they don't have all that same details of hands. Maybe a little bit less. You can't really see the nails. But all in all, it's pretty damn good. Very, very monkey, I'm gonna beat you up type of thing. Now for articulation. The arms do go a full 360, except you have to move out a little bit. But they can do a full 360. Got a 30 degree, oh, actually, more than a 90 degree bend at the elbow. I said a 30 degree, sorry. <laughs> a 90 degree bend. You get wrist. Well, you get you get bicep rotation too, or elbow rotation, sorry, my bad. And you also get wrist rotation. And you get fingers opening and closing. Which they're all molded together. They're all molded together. And then I get all this lined up here. This lined up here. Okay. And uh, for the feet, uh, his toes do move up, uh, move down a little bit. Move down a little bit. Yeah. Sorry. There you go. They do move down a little bit, and they can move up. Uh, not really. <laughs> they can't really move up. And uh, you do get a little bit of up and down besides the toes from the, the ankle. And that's pretty much it for articulation. But, however, you do get a position for him to stand in gorilla mode. And really, you just kind of bring that down a little bit. Want to open the legs. Not open them, uh, just uh, put them straight. And then you kind of want to just crank them right here because they're on a hinge right here so you just want to crank them to where this moves forward just rock them forward and same thing with the other leg kind of put them straight 
blue leg straight, and then you just rock it forward. And uh, you do get a lot more time of it, as you can see. So you can like wrap his foot around something <laughs> if you really wanted to. And kind of straighten up the feet, put down the arms, and put down the head. Now there you go. Camera a little bit. And focus. Come on. There you go. So there you go. You get standing monkey. And I oh, gotta fix this back part. I even see that I messed it up. Okay. Fix this back, back part, cover up the, the legs a little bit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there you go. You got Robo Monkey. Well, standing monkey, sorry. You don't have Robo Monkey just yet. Yeah. Oh no, not that bad. Articulation is the same and all. Arts could do, still do a 360 and all that. It doesn't change anything. The only thing that changes is the legs. And yeah. Now for comparison, here he is with Kingdom Core Class. Rat Trap. Sounds like the camera over there. And uh, they do scale. Scale uh, well, quite well together. <laughs> well, well, well. Um, yeah, not all that bad. He's uh, obviously a lot shorter than Primal, but what do you expect from a mouse? <laughs> Or a rat, sorry. Rat. <laughs> and uh, I think this is about it. So we should get down to transformation now. First, what you want to do, I'm gonna come back down here to the legs. And again, just kind of swing them back out until this this peg right here. I'm not sure how you can see that. This peg right here tabs into that slot right there. There you go. Just swing it out and plug it in. Same thing on the other side. Swing it, swing it, swing it. And my joints are very, very tight. So, there you go. And then, flip out the feet until they click in place. There you go. I'm going to bring up this back piece, turn it around, and this peg will plug into that little slot right there. There you go. And then, what you want to do is turn. The waist around and that is it you're done <laughs> no you're not done but that is kind of funny it's up a little bit it's kind of funny you got robo legs with the monkey <laughs> anyway so nothing you have to do is flip up the shoulder pads flip the shoulder pads you just close the hands close the hands actually not very close there you go and uh and then this is the scary part this is like really scary because you have to oh you have to like unplug it from there and it's like really tight and i fear breaking it <laughs> you just turn the head around it's gonna be like this you're just gonna turn around full 360 and then put the head all the way down turn the head around and then just kind of there you go now uh yeah, we'll do this now since so I don't have to open it again. You can bring up the shoulder cannons, but it's an easier way for me is I kind of just like rotate the head and then grab it and then move forward. And there you go. Just kind of do the same thing on the other side. Just twist that sideways, move up, twist that sideways, move it up, and then there you go. There you go. And then final step, you want to flip the chest over. And just kind of collapse this entire part into the. Make sure you get the arms out the way. There you go. And there you go with Deluxe Class Optimus Primal. And he is a very, very neat and cool, accurate toy, I'd say, in my opinion. Now, he obviously isn't accurate to the Beast Wars show, but this is um, from. Uh, kingdom so obviously it's not supposed to look like the beast wars show completely different show so completely different style this one obviously looks more realistic in the gorilla mode but this one has a very accurate adaptation of the of the beast wars show now for accessories he does come with two things and he does come with his swords he comes with his swords and uh you can't plug them into his hands 
do is just open them up and they're kind of molded in there. See the little groove, circle, whatever you want to call it, half circle. And you just kind of plug them into there and just wrap your hands around it. And you just hold them. You know, they're not going to fall out or anything. Same thing with the other hand. You know, line them up. Oops. Let's get my There you go. Okay. And there you go. You can make them the monkey warrior that he is. Light turned off there. there you go. I'm trying new lighting here. I'm just <laughs> just because uh this is a darker toy because of the, the black and all and the black background. So I'm trying some new lighting here. Maybe I'll keep it. Anyways, so yeah, there you go. Get his his swords, his uh aerial cannons, which I like to you know let's just, I say aerial cannons because this is basically what he used to shoot people out of the sky and while he was flying. And yeah. Uh, he does come with his, uh, arm blasters, and, but, uh, you just, you do kind of just, like, push in on this. Push in on that. And get his arm cannon. They come on both hands. But, I can't really do this all that often. I mean, this worked perfectly now, but I've never actually been able to <laughs> get my finger in there and just push it all the way through, so I always have to take the sword and just kind of, like, put it in at the other end and push it out. But I didn't have to do that right now, so that's good. So there you go. There he is with all of his guns and and all that stuff. He has his guns, he has his blasters, and he has his double swords. Which is pretty cool. Looks very, very accurate to uh, the show of Beast Wars, but, you know, all in all, not that bad. Now for articulation in robot mode... His head is on a ball joint, so he does get a full, very tight ball joint, but he gets a full 360. He can look up so far. He can look down. Eh, not really. He can't really look down just because of the chest right here. Oops. Uh, his shoulder cans can go back all the way that far. Whoops. And he is standing up straight. He's just looking up a little bit. There you go. There you go. Nice looking straight. Uh, they can go as far down as that. His arms can do a 360. They can go out as far as the shoulder pads let them, but they go up eh, about all the way. Of course, if you do put them all the way up, you do kind of get this like, you know, like gap right here. <laughs> Not even a gap, it's just, yeah, they get a little gap right there. You do get bicep rotation, and you get a wrist swivel, which uh, this wrists are on a mushroom peg, so there you go. The waist, you get a 360 waist, but that's also because of transformation. The legs, they can go out about 90 degrees. They can go up about 90 degrees and they can if you get this part out of the way they can go back about 90 degrees <laughs> so 90 degrees 90 degrees 90 degrees and there you go he does get a bend at the knee a double bend actually so you can go back pretty far and again you just want to tap him back into his, his knees he does get uh, some ankle tiltage he does get some ankle tiltage not a lot but it's there uh his toes can <laughs> pretty much go up all the way that's again for transformation he's got his uh, monkey feet for heels and there you go that is all the articulation that he has put it one sword to the side now, for comparison, here he is with Kingdom Core Class Rat Trap. Oops. Diamond. There you go. Okay. And there he is with Kingdom Core Class Rat Trap. Now, obviously, Rat Trap's a lot smaller than Primal, so big size difference. You probably fit another Rat Trap. Let's see, his head's right here. 
yeah, two rat traps, and he's a little bit taller than Optimus. But there they are, and I think it's a good size comparison. You know, I think Rat Trap was about that small, maybe a little bit taller, but you know, it's core class, so there you go. And there you go. And there is Kingdom Deluxe Class Optimus Primal. Now, this toy is available at Walmart. So if you want this toy, go and check your local Walmart. He is also available at Target. So go and check your local Target. And I think that's it. So go and check out my Twitch in the link in the description below. So you can watch me play games and play Warzone and all that other stuff with my friends. And go and check out my Instagram where you will see pictures of the toys ahead of time before I post them here on YouTube. And again, in the link in the description below. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I will talk to you all in the next one.